Yo, what's going on guys? RIP are here using that max power to turn on YouTube and today we're here to talk about the recent tier changes and uh, give a little bit of a description on, hmm, I don't really know what, I guess to see why they moved up it's uh, or down, it's uh, usage based, the, all of these, uh, for the most part anyway, I just have one or two that need to be, um, that weren't usage based, maybe, <laughs> I think, I'm really like, I'm lost a little bit, I just went through the list, uh, I do have it on my phone as well, so I'm going to look through it while I talk to you guys. So recently, uh, about a week, oh my god, about a week ago, yes, 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 uh-huh, um, the tiers shifted for the first time in quite a while, it had been, uh, or officially anyway, it's been a few months, and now that they've actually settled down with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, they can actually accurately um, put everything where it needs to be so as uh, usage climbs or falls and things like that things are getting banned whatnot uh, it can it can adjust a lot better <laughs> it's more smooth so um, we're gonna go through these uh, where's the team builder there you are nice and fire behind the team builder though I don't use this um I don't use this uh, I don't use the, the um, Google Chrome client for my videos because I always lag because I like the stylish background so I really just I, I don't know I'll, I'll do it some other time so uh, we're gonna start off with probably the most I'm not gonna say controversial but uh, you know what? let's just go in order let's go in order from um, least to greatest so let's go from what is OU and is now UU so you're gonna see up here we've got Salamence now Salamence uh, really isn't anything new. Salamence was UU. It's been banned from UU. It's gone back to UU. It's been retested and rebanned from UU. And it went to OU because of usage when Mega Salamence came out. And Salamence isn't a bad Pokemon by itself. In <sighs> damn you, phone. All right, I'm gonna have to keep it open then, because <laughs> I can't turn this off because I just think people are out of the house. So just in case they have to call or anything, something important comes up, I can't mute the phone. So I'm gonna keep it on as long as possible. So anyway, what was talking about Salamence? Salamence is a very versatile and a very good Pokemon in and of itself, even without its Mega Evolution. Possessing 100 speed, mixed capabilities with 110 special attack and 135 attack, uh, has a good choice scarf set, life orb, uh, Dragon Dance is very viable on this, 95 base HP, nothing to scoff at either, and base 80 defense is okay, that's fine. So, but Salamence is a good Pokemon, I do think this is probably the second least underwhelming though because it really it I, I feel that uh, Salamence belongs here and UU uh, BL is acceptable I'll say but I do think the Salamence is a good UU mod and I wouldn't be surprised if it stayed for a little while although wait you know what let me just check this real quick because I uh, it's been a little while since the tier shift happened so uh, dragon type UU UU comma all Alright, yeah, Salamence is in a UU mon still. So, uh, this is probably the most controversial mon to drop from OU to UU. Terrakion. Terrakion is a great Pokemon. 108 speed like the rest of, like the, rest of the Three Musketeers. Or, well, four, I guess. Ah! <laughs> like four. Uh, so, uh, Terrakion being the most offensively, most uh, physically offensive of the four. Uh, with 91 base HP, 129 attack. 90 defenses, 108 speed, it's absolutely, it's a fantastic Pokemon, it can run a Choice Scarf set, uh, it has a lead set for itself with uh, Stealth Rock and a fantastic attack stat to go with it, and it's just, it's typing is great for, uh, offensively, and decent defensively, uh, it's just not, it's not a bad mod at all, it's like, it fell by usage, I understand that, but I do think it'll find itself in BL sooner or later. Uh, it's just, it's, it's too much, I think, in my opinion anyway. Even even with Samus having DD. <clears throat> so, we move on to Pinsir. Now, originally I was going to talk about Mega Pinsir, but I checked before starting this video. Mega Pinsir is gone. It was um, sometime earlier this week. It went to BL because it was just way too much for this tier. Uh, let me let me show you Mega Pinsir stats. Uh, let me just. All right, so it's air late. So really, there is nothing really too much for it. Um, wow, I don't even know what I was saying anymore. 65 base HP, uh, 120 base defense, 90 base special defense, 105 speed, and on top of that, you have 155 attack. 
Uh, so then you got the Jolly set, which brings you a 409 attack, Swords Dance plus qu uh, Swords Dance with Quick Attack, uh, Close Combat, or uh, Return or Substitute Return, Close Combat, Earthquake, whatever you want to do. It's it's very versatile. Has, I mean, yeah, you can pretty much say it only has one real set, but it's just it's too much for the UU tier. It really is just too much. With priority stab being boosted with Aerolate, it's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and at plus two, pretty much cleans everything, even those that, the only things that are fast the only things that can really hope to switch in are things that resist flying, and even those are countered, uh, well, yeah, are pretty much taken care of by Pincer's other, um, Pincer's other moves. Not to mention flying is a very good offensive typing in the UU tier with a lot of things actually taking some good damage from it. So Pinsir was just fantastic mod. Mega Pinsir is a fantastic mod in this tier. And went to BL. Regular Pinsir is in UU again. So uh, we'll see what, what happens. And so <laughs> they didn't even bother bringing Heracross's Mega down to UU. Her Mega Heracross was BL from the beginning of <laughs> its return to UU. Now I could see Heracross staying. Now it just, uh, I'm not exa I'm not entirely sure what I'm really trying to say with this, but um, just with the recent tier, sh uh, with the recent shift in games and the new mons, new megas and whatnot that were introduced, I do feel Heracross has been overshadowed and will now be a much better mon in the UU tier where it is now. And I think that's really all I have to say about it, you know, Scarf Guts, Band Guts, whatever you want to do is just a very good mod, in my opinion, and deserves to be in UU where it will see some usage. So, I've already been speaking for 7 minutes and we've only done one tier change, that's ridiculous. <laughs> so I might have to cut this into two parts, two 20 minute parts, so, uh, and we'll do it, I, I guess, I guess, L let's see how far we get first. So we've done OU to UU, so now we're doing UU to OU. First we have Raikou. This one hurt my soul. It really hurt my soul because I love Raikou as a Pokemon and I've just, I've wanted to build around it so much, so much in this tier and now it's gone. It's just gone. I built like three Wi-Fi teams around Raikou and for UU and I didn't even get to get battles yet and now they're gone. It's, it's they're just done. With 115 special attack, 100 special defense, 115 speed, 90 HP, I understand these, they rose by usage, so people were using Raikou, so it went up, I understand that. And it's now in OU again, a place it hasn't been since Gen 4, I think? I'm not sure. I started in Gen 6, so the only Gen 4 I've played has been in this generation, so I really don't know too much about this, um, about this stuff. Ugh, my nose hurts. Anyways, so I'm gonna let's just move on. So we have Celebi. Celebi has been an OU mon for a while. It's UU now, or well, it was UU now, and has recently moved back up to recently moved back up to OU. So Celebi was a great pivot switch in the UU tier, and it also has a lot of um, it also has a lot of different uses. Baton pass as nasty plot, swords dance, uh, wide move pull to use with both. Uh, Including, it's got Zen Headbutt and um, I think Seed Bomb. Uh, yeah, it has Zen Headbutt, Seed Bomb on the physical side, uh, with Leaf Storm, Giga Drain, Psychic, Psy Shock on the on the special side, along with Earth Power, Energy Ball, Dazzling Gleam. It's just a bunch of things that it can do on its own. But now that it's an OU, I do feel like you would see more like Recover, Baton Pass, Nasty Plot, all that good stuff. I've been using a uh, Nasty Pass Celebi. In fact, in a live a few a few videos away from now. Uh, you'll probably see me using the Nasty Plot Celebi <laughs> Baton Pass. Uh, it's actually very fun. Uh, I'll explain more in that video, so uh, just stay tuned and look out for that. So yeah, Celebi's, Celebi is a very good Pokemon. Uh, it does have this, it's tied with uh, Tyranitar for the most weaknesses in the game with 7. Uh, Tyranitar being a fighting dark type and Celebi being a psychic grass type. But Cele but what comes with a lot of weaknesses also comes with a good amount of resistances. So uh, let's go ahead and I keep forgetting to look for these things. Okay, so it has a one, two, three. It has six resistances and seven weaknesses, being four times weak to bug, 
having weaknesses to dark fire, flying, ghost, ice, and poison, resistance being electric fighting, gra <laughs> electric fighting, grass, ground, psychic, and water. Now the one thing Celebi does have that, um, like just like um, Terrakion, um, wow, just like Tyranitar, excuse me, has a very good amount of bulk, both physically and specially, and with, well, base 100 across, of course, and most Celebi will carry quite a bit of a HP investment, or if not max, so, uh, that's really mitigated. Uh, the weaknesses that it does possess <laughs> on either side, it's just... If Celebi is really nice. It can take some hits and just... It's it's a good mod. I do feel like it's a good mod. So, that's the thing that's all I really want to say about Celebi. Celebi can do a lot of things. It, Baton Pass is its thing, <laughs> though. That's, that's the thing that I think it will do the best. And I'm interested to see how it doesn't... Uh, well, of course. It's done. It's doing its thing in OU, but uh, I've seen it done in OU before. But uh, I yes, I don't know. I don't know if moving to OU will encourage more people to use it. But I I don't know. This isn't. I, I can't really get excited for Pokemon moving up because you could already use them in that tier. So with that being said, let's move on. So we have Diancie. I really have no surprise here. Uh, great bulk both when it Mega Evolves and when it's a regular DNC with, uh, what does it have, 160 attack, 160 special attack, and 110 speed with uh, 100 defense and 100 special defense when it Mega Evolves, which is fantastic. It's middling 50 HP is what really discourages people from using it though, although I love this Pokemon. It's one of my favorites of all time, uh, both it and its Mega, although I really only use its Mega because <laughs> I really don't really... Ah, I said really a lot. My goodness, more than. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, so Mega Diancie is a fantastic Pokemon. Uh, I really love it. It's very, very. It's very fast. Hits very hard, and it's one of the only new Megas that actually sees some usage in the Ubers tier as well. It has the amount of power required to uh, be used in Ubers, so. I actually I really like this Pokemon. I, I love Diancie, and I mean it's kind of a one-trick pony in uh, OU. Well, but it does that one thing very very nicely. It clears, <laughs> it can plow through teams uh, unless you have a Scizor around to bullet punch it or a Metagross. But after that's gone, Diancie pretty much cleans house. So one thing I'm excited for leaving you, you Jirachi. Jirachi is finally gone. Now, being a Scarfer, it actually did, uh, it spiked in usage for uh, both its defensive set and its Scarf set. Uh, the Scarf set being used as one of the main things that can take care of Mega Beedrill, as Beedrill is so fast that only Scarf Mons will go faster than it, and uh, Sceptile speed ties with it, so you don't want to have a Sceptile out against a Mega Beedrill just so that you could attempt to almost, perhaps, maybe possibly KO it if you can win the speed tie. And you might not even KO it, that's the thing. So uh, Jirachi did get a lot of use um, as the new Megas and things came through. And yeah, Jirachi's just, it's its being its annoying self. Scarf, Iron Head, all that good stuff. So uh, <laughs> I really don't have anything else to say about this, only that UU is going to be so much more fun when I start playing that again. I'm focusing on NU, that's my home. It's where I do. Now, one mod I'm not really super surprised about moving up from UU to OU again is Starmie. Starmie was OU every single generation until this one, where it decided to drop to UU because it felt like it. But it's had its fun and it decided to come back up. So, 115 speed, 100 special attack, 60 HP, um, with decent defenses in 85, with two good abilities in Natural Cure and Analytic with uh, the ability to rapid spin and a pretty wide uh, special move pool. It's a very good Pokemon uh, the, with a uh, reflect type also being a good thing to use with um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say with that. Uh, being a good defensive move, there you go. Uh, allowing you to take not very effective damage from mods that are out and whatnot. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about Starmie. Starmie's a pretty good Pokemon as well. I do think that it, it wanted to well, I, why do I keep saying that? It rose by usage. All the Pokemon you see here rose or fell because of usage. So I don't know why I keep saying, oh, it's such a really good Pokemon. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But um, yeah, so Starmie's back. That's all I really have to say about that. 
So we're about 15 minutes in. Uh, let's go back to the list. It's taking a bit to load. All right, so I'm gonna go from. Let's do R U U U next. Nothing dropped from U U to R U, which is unfortunate. Now, Dragalgy, Superior, and Pidgeot are all here for. Well, Dragalgy and Superior are here for a different reason. Dragalgy was banned to BL2 by the RU tier after the suspect test. It was being tested alongside Mega Pidgeot and Superior. Superior moved up from BL2 to UU because of usage. And Mega Pidgeot moved from RU to UU, which is weird because on the, on the um, from what, let me go to the RU room uh, real quick, just see what's going on. Uh, damn it, I think I missed it. Where, oh, there you are. Pidgeot, Pidgeotite, Dragalge, and Superior Band. That's the that's the the thing right here in the room intro. So um, you see that, and but Pidgeot moved from RU to UU according to the site, while it also says the Superior moved from BL2 to UU. So I'm very confused about that because that would mean that Pidgeot was in the RU in the RU tier, but Superior was already banned from U from RU in BL2. So I, I was just confused. I'm just confused about that. It's it's whatever though. So um, I'm gonna treat Pidgeot as if it was an RU mon that moved up. A fantastic Mega Evolution. Uh, well, okay, I'm not gonna say fantastic. It's a very good Mega Evolution, uh, possessing decent bulk and the ability to run a couple of different sets. I mean, Hurricane and Heat Wave are standard on all of them for the most part. And then you've got the two slots you can play around with, with Defog, Roost, uh, Work Up, Hidden Power Grass, uh, Hidden Power Ice, whatever you needed to uh, suit your team's needs. So it was, it was a very good Pokemon. I really liked it, but uh, it left RU. I'm sad about that. I really I enjoyed using it in RU. And it's it's sad, though. Sad to see you go, bro. But uh, yeah, you're gone. So now we have Contrary Superior. Once Superior got Contrary, it became a fantastic Pokemon with a 130 base power nasty plot, basically. Doing damage and getting plus two at any one time. In RU, you were forced to run uh, Registeel or uh, Golbat to deal, or you would have to have a max HP Golbat to deal with Superior, because you would one hit it with Brave Bird after it takes life orb damage from Leaf Storming and those people who think that at plus two with Life Orb Superior with Dragon Pulse could KO Golbat. Yeah, you were wrong. You was wrong, friend. Evil Light Max Special Defense <laughs> Golbat will, gives no damage about your attacks. So, uh, Superior was broken. It was very broken. And back when uh, I would, back when you could use it in NU, it was just, it was a serious problem. Um, in fact, it is linked to the reason one of the PU mods moved up to NU. I'll, dis I'll explain that later on. Uh, as we approach 20 minutes, so this might actually be a two-part video. So uh, I'll probably just go through um, U RU to UU, and then we'll um, discuss. We'll discuss other things. I mean, UU to RU. Wait, no, there is no U to RU. Forget it, forget it, forget it, forget anything. So Gligar moved up from usage finally to UU. I was expecting it to move up from usage eventually. I've seen it everywhere. I had it on every single team. I had Gligar and Aromatisse on every team because I wanted something that could defog and set up rocks. And it just, it was just there. It was a very good Pokemon. I loved it. And it's now in UU again. So I'm really finding less and less to enjoy about the RU tier. Like, I really don't feel like playing it ever again. <laughs> like, everything is leaving. Sceptile has left RU as well. Sceptile, uh, Kaz told me about, talked about this uh, in the Skype channel I'm in with him, and I, I tend to agree with him. Uh, he said Sceptile is very offensively underwhelming. You would think that something with 145 special attack, as well as 120 normal uh, physical attack, with the ability to set up with Swords Dance would actually be a very threatening Pokemon. It is a threatening Pokemon, but it's not the threat that everybody painted it out to be. Um, things like uh, Beedrill, who has 145 physical attack, also has adaptability going for it with its poison jabs and its, um, and its, uh, what you call it? And its U-turns and like X's or whatever people want to run on it. And Drill Run is usually use the fire types that drill run is used on are are more than uh, more often than not either very weakened or are just physically frail 
or not not even physically frail just don't have much hp be, which is the case for chandelure chandelure actually has a decent amount of physical bulk being 90 but it just doesn't have enough hp to take that type of hit um from something with base 145 attack so there's that and yeah so subtile is it's it's a it's a good mega evolution i like it uh, the ability Lightning Rod is not really super useful, I guess, unless you really try to bait an electric attack. It really is nothing, nothing special, but it does have great coverage. Oh, 110 special, 110 physical attacks at 120. Excuse me on that, but the physical set is very useful. So, Septile has left RU, and we talked about Dragology. It was banned. Uh, basically, the same thing as Superior in uh, RU, except this. In uh, Dragology's case, you had to have bronze on your team to take a hit. Uh, you had to predict around it with things like Aromatisse and Escavalier. I would always, I had Aromatisse and Escavalier on the same team a few times, and I would really, literally have to predict around it. Like, I would have Aromatisse out, and I'd be like, okay, he could go for Hidden Power Fire, which would two hit my um, Escavalier, or he's gonna go for Sludge Bomb just to try to hit my, um, just try to Oko my Aromatisse. I have an option here. And then I would always pull the switch to Escavalier, and he would always go for the um, Sludge Bomb. So I started getting wise, and I would just go for Protect with Aromatisse, just to see what he would lock himself into, and then switch around accordingly. So yeah, that was fun times, fun times. That was during the Suspect test. So uh, yeah, yeah, so that's the end of RU to UU, and there was no UU to RU. So I think that that's going to be it for this section of the video and we'll come back with uh the changes to nu pu and what went from nu to ru so uh, let me see nu to pu pu to nu nu to ru and ru to nu will be next episode and i will catch you guys later i hope you enjoyed part one and i will see you guys later peace